Well, look, <laughs> in actual fact, why it's... don't you... I'd like to write in and let me know whether you want his pullover or his suit, actually. Yeah. Which shall I wear, in? Eh? I'm a bit hot in the suit. Hello, Hello. Adam. Oh, yeah. Hello, Hello, Adam. Good morning. Now, here's a man who really does know about art, because you're quite a handy artist, aren't you? Yeah, I used to paint my nose with a paintbrush. That's and, it. it uh, looked, yes, it looked very attractive. Worked quite well for me, yeah. Yes, he was going to stand in the Tate Gallery at one time like that. Really? Yes. But you, seriously, you, you are actually quite an artist, aren't you? Because I saw some of your drawings on uh, Noel's show last week, which were very yeah. good. I did, um, I studied graphic design for about three mm -hmm. years and then uh, got uh, kicked out. So um, I, I just do it for fun now, really, but I really enjoy it. It's but those cartoons you did for the, uh, for the new video last week, I thought were smashing. They, they were really, really good. Yeah, they come on good on TV. They look, they, they're, they're nice to keep. And uh, I've always done them for really just for the videos and kept them myself. But then uh, somebody said, well, let's take a look at them. We'd like to use them. Mm. So it's a good job I keep everything. So you're going to do something exactly. one day, like in that line, maybe do a cartoon strip or something in the year, you know, 1999 well, Adamant cartoon strip. Or... Well, when your record stops selling, you've got to do something. So I'll see me down on the old pavement drawing. <laughs> Awesome Wife stuff. and 20 kids to support yep. or something like that. Well, what do you think about uh, John's effort over there, the bus? Uh, should, we, should we wander around? Let's wander around. Have you ever sold anything commercially in the painting line, Adam? Um, no, never. Not really. No. No, it's always... I don't think this will sell either. For fun. I think that's... Well, I mean, is that it? That's, that's it, <laughs> well, is it? I think it might come on a little bit. I've got this some bits it. to fill in. You, know? you can see how old John is because it's one of the old buses with no roof on the top. Right. <laughs> Less well, to it's paint. It's bus. Less to paint. Um, yeah. What can I say? I'm lost for words. What do you think? Marks out of ten for style? Uh, I think it's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I'll that's give right. it five. <laughs> five. Right, okay. I wouldn't ask you about my people because they're all the same colour, the same colour as the bus stop and standing about two foot up in the air. Uh, listen, a little later we're going to see you singing friend or foe, right? Uh, and we'll also have another natter a bit later. I'll put the paint down and let you... I think, I think a little, little splash of orange there would look rather attractive, John. Maybe a little orange bit of crust there as well. well. <laughs> on his suit. Right, hello dog, what do you want? You can't have your nose painted. <laughs> you can't have your nose painted? Would you like a John Craven pullover, your very own? <laughs> oh, fine, fine, OK. No, you're not supposed to drink it. You come away. Why don't you get an orange nose? Yes. Uh, actually, we had, um, we had a, a request for, um, for, as well as from the dog here, for to see some, some dog things. And some, oh, isn't that sweet? How cute. Tiring work being a guard dog, isn't it? I think they're going to get to love the dog more than us. You know, they're <laughs> yes. going to say, please, can we see more of the dog? At least the front view. Uh, uh, right, that was friend or foe, and with me is Adam. And what do you think of the painting earlier? Did you... Appreciate that. Now we finished it. You think it looks? It's finished now. Yeah. Well, it's, technically, yes. It's a masterpiece. Yes. Masterpiece. How did you find it getting up early to come in here this morning? It's something people are always asking me. They're always saying, "How can you get up at five o'clock in the morning?" I mean, do you find it easy? Uh, no, it's not easy. But I, there's a sort of there's another alarm clock that you do that I have before I go to bed. If I think I've got to get up at eight and I haven't got to bed till two and I'll spend the whole night sleeping thinking you've got to get up early and then get up perhaps earlier than I normally would. So um, it's just really, you know, it's a tense attention that you have all night, really. Are you a sort of creature of habit that gets up and the first thing you do is have a cup of tea or dive into the bathroom? I mean, do you always get up and think, oh, first I must? Well, I get up and I think, shall I go back to bed? That's the first thing. Second thing is I, I have to have a cup of tea, I love tea. And then really just... Uh, Shaving's the hardest part of the day because you can actually, you can kill yourself in the morning shaving if you're too tired. Like, you now sometimes shaving away, I wake up, and there's blood everywhere. And you say, God, you know, psycho, and it's just it's razor, you cut yourself to bits. You, know? you can see the newspapers, a pop star and suicide attempt. Yeah. Cut shaving. Did you watch Top of the Pops? I asked Kate this uh, earlier on, on Thursday for a different reason than uh, uh, Dex is singing about Jockey Wilson said. No, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, see it, but I've uh, heard about it. People have come up to me and said, you see Top of the Pops? And said, uh, no. They go, oh, right, fine. And I, what's the matter? And, oh, nothing, nothing, it's fine. But uh, I hear that uh, the DJ's had a crack at uh, choreography, wasn't it? We didn't know that we were going to dance to it. They suddenly said, right, friend or foe, and we stood back and said, no, you lot up there and dance. <laughs> and it was embarrassing. And luckily, they freeze-framed it to make it look good. Really? They mm. did all the... Did all the bit. Oh, yes. I have to watch out then. Listen, we were talking earlier about graphic design 
Yeah. And I don't know, maybe that's something that if you hadn't been what you are, you might well have gone into or may well at some stage go back to. Uh, there are obviously a lot of uh, you know, a lot of young kids that would like to be somebody like Adam Ant or Shaking Stevens, but in reality will probably do something else. Uh, what about going into graphic design? I mean, is it a very daunting thing to think, oh, oh, do I have to be a great artist? I mean, how do they go about it? Well, I think that primarily, in my, in my experience, it's a case of uh, there seems to be an attitude towards all the arts, music, and drawing or painting whereby uh, I think parents sometimes get the idea that oh you know it's alright but you'll get a real job one day you know um, and also there seems to be a lot of careers information on being a, a scientist or being a kind of uh, research engineer or something but if you go into a careers officer and say I'd like to be a graphic designer or I'd like to be a painter it's like saying, I want to be a brain surgeon, you know, they just think it's, well, you know, you should really get your something serious going. And in fact, graphic design, when I studied it, I was uh, able to get some help on where to apply. You have to write off to a lot of different colleges and you get a kind of catalogue of what goes on, mm -hmm. which is very important. Visit a lot of them and then go down for an interview with your work. But I find that People think that it's it, drawing is, is, is a kind of pastime, but graphic designers are very, very hard-working people. I mean, I couldn't stand the pace. I think that's really why um, I now do it as, a, as, as part of my work, but very much as a, a hobby. Yes. Yeah. Um, it okay. is very hard work. Before we go on to the music, very briefly, in, in a couple of words, can you tell us what a graphic designer is? Because a lot of people know the word, but what does it actually mean? Well, it's someone that, that will interpret an idea uh, visually uh, in order to sell a product of some sort either a poster or a record cover is is, is graphic design because it it involves lettering saying who the, who the record is made by giving some idea of the imagery that that artist is trying to put over and it's the same as a can of beans really you know it, it's there's a lot of a lot of science and a lot of work goes into that kind of thing okay we're talking about record science. covers we've got yeah. quite a few bits down here there's lots of bits and to pieces actually down. give away if i can this get is, this one in particular it goes rolling away this is my new record cover and that's a new record cover 24 no, oil farben oil colors they're great then <laughs> wonderful be, now, that, that, okay. that's to be given away well that that is what that's that's oils is it i don't know what that is i've uh that's uh that's cheating really Mustn't do that. Right. I've bought some goodies down here, um, primarily from the video. Okay. This is the the gingerbread man with the the bite out of it. You know, this is the one, and I I made that and I've signed that. And uh, okay. There's also at the back down here. There's the. Do you know how it's? Yeah, Marco's dressed up as the. Marco's you dressed. Up? Yeah. Can we open it? You're that. you that in. Marco's okay. dressed up as the clown. And this is the drawing that I did, which he burst through. That's the original uh, thing, the original backdrop, which I sat down and did. Wonderful. So that, that's an original. There's just yeah, one that, off, and that's, that's it. Original. That's it. That's wonderful. A bit you... of a Rolf Harris job there. All right. And, you uh, mention the next bit, and I'll roll it up. Next bit is this. The new. This is something that uh, I think is a first, really. It's um, it's one of my giveaways. It's, it comes down like this, and it looks like a little package. It's got the adamant friend or foe. That's my new album that's coming out. And, and, but if you unzip this, it's marvellous. Science can do it. If you can get it undone. Wait. <laughs> well, it works. Other side, other side. If you can get it So undone. it's basically a bag. It's basically a bag, and it won't open. That undoes when the zip works. Oh, my God. Do you want me to have a go? Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, that's all right. Now this is this is the fault of a guy called Dougie who works for a record company I know, and uh, he's Scottish, and this is in fact a, uh, an upside down. It's a parachute. It's a parachute. <laughs> now it is in fact an anorak, which is wonderful, and it's a tour jacket, and that's uh, that's in fact not for sale. So that's a special one for the winner or whatever. And the last thing's uh, the picture disc that's out uh, just come out. Uh, I. I've got to ask a question, haven't I, about it to yes. win all this yes. stuff, which is um, I would like to know the correct title of the name of the bandit on the B side of this picture disc. The correct title of the, the name of the bandit. Title, the name of the bandit on the B side of this picture disc, because there's been lots of different spellings of it and what have you. There so you can win all those goodies just for that. The address is Saturday Superstore, BBC Television.
London W12 8QT. Adam, before you go, I know that you had your new band on stage at London's Astoria last night, and from yeah. the people that I know that went, they said it was a great night, and the band's got a new name. Yeah, it's, it's uh, just plainly called The Men, because I mm. think it's very appropriate, so it's Adam Ant and his men, really. It's set seven new guys. Um, we've been rehearsing for a while, and we put on a special private show for great. 300 fans from the fan club, and... Um, who got these invitations and said, well, is it a hoax, you know, and they couldn't believe it. And we had a lot of people in there. It was a very nice evening. And Good. Finally, before I let you go and look around the shop, in the record Antrap, where, which you obviously did last night, you used to sing the names of the band. Now you've got a new band. Do the names still rhyme? Well, I didn't perform it last night because I had a bit of a problem, but I've worked it out. The name of the band is, it's now Bogdan, Barry, Chris and Steve, Char, Stuart, Tony and me, in the naughty orphan in the sexy sound. That's right. it, but it's a bit of a mouthful, so... My telephone. Aha. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. I'll let you go and have a look around the store right, while I a... do some work. All I'll right. Thanks for coming in, Adam. Anyway, okay, you can take yeah. some biscuits. Show some biscuits. Oh, take right, one. Yeah. See you later. What a generous chef I am. That's Adam, man. Thank you very much.